this new The Main record. <sighs> Look, I like American Candy. I think American Candy is a great record, record of the decade. However, XOXO from Loving Anxiety in Real Time, the 2021 album from The Main, is bland as hell. Look, here's what I think, right? There are um, three main categories that everything falls into here. Good, meh, laughable at best. For example, the percussion, it's meh. On some tracks it stands out and it, like uh, Pretty Desert Rose, and on other tracks it just sort of blends in with the background. The vocals, always solid. The vocals are the best part of this record, and I like the vocals on every track except for Sticky, the opening track. But other than Sticky, I like the vocals on every track here. The lyrics, laughable at best. <laughs> like, literally the best song for lyrics is probably High Forever, and that's my favorite song off the record too, so that's no coincidence. However, I still laugh and chuckle when I hear those lyrics. So, but like, those are just three things, right? You can't, like... Look, title tracks. Let's start with those. Love in Real Time and Anxiety in Real Time. Love in Real Time, solid track. Like it. It's uh, catchy. It feels good. It makes me feel vulnerable. Anxiety in Real Time? <laughs> well. <laughs> it sounds uninterested. It It's like... There's this one noise in the track, like, at the end, that makes me hate it. Because, like, why? What's the point of that? It's not like it's leading into the next track, because it just cuts the track away once Face Towards the Sun starts. But, like, the lead singer sounds uninterested. The guitars even sound uninterested. It's just not good. There are songs where I literally wrote down in my notes, I wish I liked this more. April 7th, If Your Light Goes Out, are two of those examples where I literally wrote down, I wish I liked this. Because these songs all have potential. Every one of them has the potential to be great. However, the main keep fucking it up. Like, how hard is it not just not to put a weird sound at the end of your song for no reason? How hard is that? It doesn't lead into the next track. It's not like the You'd Be Paranoid 2 weird sound at the end. Because that does actually lead into fruit roll-ups. Um, but this just is there to be there. Um, there's two uh, examples of songs where they fall into cliches, which the main have not really ever done before this. Um, for example... Uh, if Your Light Goes Out is White Guy with Guitar Cliché. <laughs> and I hate saying that about the main because they're so much more than that. But that's what that song is, really. Um, Pretender, which is actually a good track, is a piano cliché because the pre-chorus is a piano. Get it? Piano cliché. Ha 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 ha. I'm really pissed at this album, honestly. I wrote down a couple of different times is this gospel music? Because that's what the feel is. It sounds like it's one of those songs that'll get you to be, like, pumped up for church. And personally, those songs irritate me to all hell. But when the main tries to do them, it irritates me even more. I wish I liked this album a lot more than I did. I think ARTV was generous giving it a 5 out of 10. Or, sorry, a 2.5 out of 5, because we have to be complicated. I think there are some real gems on this album. This could have been a great EP. I think if you take Lips, Love in Real Time, High Forever, and uh, Pretender, you get a, a, an amazing four-song EP that I would love. However, you also throw in the songs like, oh, I don't know, Sticky, which is literally the most forgettable thing I've ever heard in my life, April 7th, which I, it, you know that song off AJR's The Click 3.30 about a song that's 3 minutes and 30 seconds? Anyway. 
the closer face towards the sun, it's not good. A, a personal pet peeve of mine is A, when the tile tracks aren't good, and B, when the closer and opener aren't good. I respect, even though ARTV gave it a bad example. Like, for example, this Vince... Eh. For example, the Go Team's record, which I will not be doing a dedicated review for, and I will only be talking about it here. I'm not even going to write down my... I will tell you my score real quick, but I will only say this. Three songs stuck out to me. The opener, the closer, and one track in the middle. Those are three good songs right there. You could have had an amazing EP. Other than that... I want to shoot myself when I hear this. Um, this The Go Team's record was a 2 out of 10. I think I'm being generous, giving the main a, a strong 3 to a light 4 on this record. Um, I mean, I'm just disappointed, honestly. I hope that this does not send a precursor towards what this the Billie Eilish record, the Lord record, the Avril Lavigne record, the Blink One Eight Two record, and the Nine Inch or the Nine I, what the fuck is it called? The Ice Nine Kills, Nine Ice Kills, whatever the fuck, whatever those are gonna sound like. I hope that does not set a precursor. This is a light four out of ten. I'd listen to Lips, High Forever, Pretender, and Love in Real Time, but other than that, I'd skip every track on this. Thanks for watching.